number of cases in the local measles outbreak. Right now in Metro Detroit, it stands at 41. Now, it is expected the number will increase as further cases are confirmed. Dr. McGeorge joins us and is closely following developments to answer all of your questions, and there are a lot of them. Yeah, Karen and Devin, and you know, the number of possible exposure locations and the steadily increasing case counts understandably have a lot of people concerned. One big question that many people have is whether they are already protected because of their age or their documented history of vaccinations. So let's break it down. People born before 1957 are considered immune. That's because the large majority of individuals older than 62 were infected with measles as a child and have lifelong immunity. If you are older than 62 and you're concerned, you can either have your measles immunity level checked by a blood test or simply get the MMR vaccine. Now, the next age group of special note are people born between 1957 and 1989. The first measles vaccine was introduced in 1963, but generally only one dose was administered. People between 30 and 61 years old who only received one dose of vaccine are considered to be immunized, but with only one dose, there's about a 7% chance you might not be protected. Because of that, if you were potentially exposed or are concerned about measles, you should get a second MMR vaccine. Now, the second measles vaccine is often incorrectly called a booster, but it's technically not. One dose of measles vaccine induces a response 93% of the time. The second dose produces protection 97% of the time. So it is essentially catching the people that did not respond the first time for whatever reason. Now, for people af born after 1989, people under age 30, two doses of the vaccine was pretty much routine practice. And as long as you were vaccinated, you are considered protected. But I imagine you find that a lot of people, if you ask about their shot records, they, they don't know, loss, but right? if you were born in the state of Michigan, the Michigan vaccine registry is where you would go to get that information. Good to know. Thank you, Doc.